So today we're going to talk a little bit about the brake fluid tester. We're actually going to make a mini comparison between this new modern electronic brake fluid tester, which is called a Type 3451L, with the older pen tester here. Okay? You can find this older pen tester on Gearbest for about seven euros, and this new one is on AliExpress, uh, which is a little cheaper if you don't buy it with the box. If you buy it with the box, it costs around 22 euros. Um, all of the links are below, so if you're interested, have a look. We're going to start with our new modern electronic tester. It comes, as we said, in a box if you want to buy the box which is great. Uh, so if you open the box, you can see that it's got the really good sponge protection with all the bits cut out, so you won't get it sliding around in the post. And what else do we have? We have the normal Chinese manual with terrible English, but it's got a manual, which is always a positive point. So if you need it, it's there. We've got this yellow cloth. Uh, it's for a brake tester, so a yellow cloth is probably not the best of choices, but it has a cloth, so we'll see if it's actually useful or not. And the tester itself. So, the box has a hole for batteries. The tester needs two AAA batteries, which are not included. Uh, the tester itself has an adjustable probe, so... You can fit it into places which you can't fit the other one into. Uh, and it's got a magnet on the end to... Well, they say it's to clean the iron dirt in the brake fluid. They also have a light here, which is supposedly to see the fluid well. Not sure how useful that is. We'll see when we test it in a bit. Uh, but... Generally, the quality looks good, the plastic's good, the probe itself is good too. Okay, so how does it work? You press the red button for on. Ah, I need to press it a little harder. <laughs> and then you press the S button here to turn on the light for the probe. And the L button turns on the light on the screen. So, on the screen you can see that it says less than 0 0.05 is no humidity at all or low battery. 1 to 2 is okay. 3 to 4, the fluid needs to be replaced. And the menu button switches between dot three, dot four, and dot five. And if we have a look here at the old fashioned pen like tester, all you have to do is <laughs> take off the top, put these two little metal probes in the oil, and press the button on top. And it tells you the same thing. So, no moisture, no humidity, or low battery, depending on the situation. Um, 1 to 2 percent, okay. 3 to 4 percent, you need to change the brick oil. So, we're going outside now to test it in one of the cars. Okay, so we're going to test it in two cars. Both of them are actually dot four because we don't have another one to test, but we will show you the results. So here we go, dot four. And I've got the light on, which isn't actually making a difference. And as you can see, it says between one and two percent. Okay. So, let's try it with the old-fashioned pen as well. Let's 
So we've got the same result, more or less. Well, actually, we've only got 1% on this one, but it's still OK. So we're going to do the same thing in this car. As you can see, this one is has actually got blue brake fluid on, but it's only because it is the blue racing oil from fluid even from Axe. So let's have a go. As you can see, it still says dot four, and it's the same as the other car. So it's actually about one and a half percent. So, we're going to give it a go with the pen as well. And here it says the same as the other car as well at 1%. So, because the tests that we've done so far in the other two cars have been the same, we decided to try in one last car and see what happens. And nothing is happening at all, uh, but we changed the brake oil in this car a couple of weeks ago, so I'm assuming that means it's because it's new. We'll check with the other one. So, let's have a go then. Need to turn it on. And yeah, it says zero percent. So, in conclusion, what do we think of these two types of tester? Well, the electronic one has one big advantage, which is the fact that the probe is something you can move around. So there are cars where you can't access the brake fluid easily, which it wasn't the case in any of the three of our tests. But in those cars, you probably can't get there with the pen type of tester. So in that kind of situation, the electronic one is a lot better. Um, if you've only got one car and you only want to test it once in a while, every few years maybe, then you should probably opt for the pen type tester, it's a lot cheaper and it does exactly the same thing in the end. It might not be quite as precise as this one because as we saw in the tests, this one when the oil is new it doesn't do anything, uh, which obviously I was quite surprised about. Uh, when the oil is okay it tells you a more exact percentage. So here it said one and a half percent in both of the other cars and on the pen it was at the one percent. So if you've got more money to invest maybe or if you've got more than one car, if you're a home mechanic or even for a garage maybe, uh, this one is probably the best option. If that is not the case, then the pen is actually a really good buy. It's a lot cheaper. It's the, the electronic one is more than double the price of the pen. So in the end, it's up to you. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe, uh, like, and look at the links if you're interested in buying either of these two products. So we'll see you next time. Bye.